Welcome to Song of the Deep. I'm Tagus. This is my Vern. Hey guys. She loved the sound of the waves calling to her through her window. She dreamt every night of the mysteries that lay beneath. Her father was a fisherman. Each day he went out to sea, and each night Merrin waited at the rocky cliff edge, holding up a candle to guide him safely home. The two of them were poor. Their roof was leaky. And they sometimes went hungry. But as long as they had each other, Merrin knew they would be okay. Aww. At night, her father sang her songs about his great adventures. He sang of giant leviathan serpents, haunted caves, and a lost city of gold beneath the sea. Merrin knew the stories weren't real. Giant octopus, three-legged, or three-eyed. She drifted off to sleep, imagining the wonders of the world below. And her life continued that way, simply and happily. Until one night, her father didn't return. <gasps> Marin held up her candle at the cliff's edge all through the night, staring out at the empty sea. She shivered in the cold wind as she watched for him all the next day. Her eyes welled with tears as night fell again and there was still no sign of her father. At last... She collapsed into sleep. In her dreams, she saw him, trapped deep beneath the sea, calling to her for help. She awoke with a jolt. A desperate and dangerous plan was already forming in her head. She took scraps of metal and wood her father had caught in his nets and pieced them together. She hammered and bolted, she measured and sawed. And before the sun had set, she had built a tiny, rickety, Submarine. That sounds like a terrible idea. She squeezed inside and dove down. Oh, desperation! To search for her father. I love the art style on that. Mm -hmm, it's very pretty. So, we are adventuring in the Glow Cup Force. I have no idea what we're doing, but we will figure out as we go. That was a really cool intro. Yes. Uh, apparently there are there is sonar and searchlights, so we've made a rickety wooden barge that has electricity, possibly, sonar and other things. Look at that, like, it has an engine. Maybe we're pedaling. We would be very, very tired then. Let's check this out. I have no idea what to expect. Uh, apparently we can- that's a wall. I have no idea what to expect, so we are going to kind of adventure. It's a very an elaborate undersea world. It looks very tropical considering she's Around probably off the coast of Ireland. shimmered with mystery. Glow kelp bulbs lit up around her as she passed by. Erin spotted some odd looking old coins. Maybe her father would know where they were from. There are little crabs here. They're just like hanging out. Yeah, old coins. They're the size of the freaking submarine. And, you know, they chase us and become part of us. So what are we doing? Are we just, like, platforming around? Oh. Does this do anything? Nope. <gasps> I can wreck the scenery. Probably don't. Flickered and danced on the sea floor like an underwater fire. Oh, apparently I, uh, I apparently have hazards. There are hazards. It's like never alone. And you're like, why, currents? Uh oh. No. <laughs> okay. You have to time your little swimmies. Okay, I'm gonna hang out here because I want to. Okay. I didn't think I was that close. Alright, swim. Never mind. Nope. Nope. Swim! I'm trying. No! I think you just need to get across there. There has to be another way to get up there, because it does not give you enough time. You're right. Go! Go! No! 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 Oh, oh! Goddamn. Goddamn. Okay. Okay, so we have to be strategic then. Maybe I'll just go through for nap. Oh. No! Okay, I'm I'm learning. I'm learning. 
Let's go take our rickety uh, submarine barge through here. Um. A seahorse, <gasps> clockwork gears, darted out of the way as Marin approached. She wondered who could have built such a curious creature. That's super random. Hmm. Steve Punk seahorse? Yeah. Okay, let's see. So we can go through here. Oh, we can just go do it this way. Because I want to get this gold coin. It looks fancy. Can't go wrong with gold coin. Oh. Wow. That's okay. I got my gold coin. Whatever it is, whatever mysticalness it possesses, we're free. Let's go chase our clockwork steampunk seahorse made out of weird things. Look how fast we go. Whoa, what is it? It's so shiny. Magnetic claw. Ooh. It grabs pulse and attacks. Mary There's a cat. A glowing scrap of metal <gasps> and pulled it inside. It was claw shaped and had a strong magnetic pull. She took out her tools and attached it to a firing mechanism on her steering column. Oh. Sweet. It's like. Her father once told her about a mysterious living energy called time. Could that have been a time wellspring? Then <gasps> spotted shock nettles ahead of her. She had to be cautious, as the hostile creatures would attack her on sight. No! Stop attacking me. They are not nice things. The oh god, get away, get away. It also damages enemies. Oh, sweet! It gives us stuff. I'm like, be gone, vile spot. Okay, ow! Apparently that was a mine. Oh, we can pick up bombs. She is... Not having a good... Oh, I get it. Get out of the way! Oh god. I threw it the wrong way. Okay, I have to figure out how to control this. Oh, come on. <laughs> how do we do it? Go oh, the other way. I'm trying. I How do I just... How do I... What the... Uh-oh. How do I throw it? That's a good question. Okay. So we pick it up. I'm gonna, like, try and do it this way. Let's do it that way. There we go. I'm figuring Success. I'm figuring stuff out. In a, a sleeping guardian blocked Merrin's path. She knew it all too well from her father's stories. And she knew it must never be woken. Uh, why do I feel like we're gonna wake it? We probably will. Fancy seahorse. Yeah, we we have to wake it, I think. Cause, oh, this ain't happening. I like how we make everything light up and, well, just light up. Glow kill. That's what it does. Don't bother it. I have no choice. It shoots bombs out of its eyes. Oh god. Shoot it back. Oh god. Here we go. There we go. Right away. There we go. I figured it out. Did you break the Guardian? The Guardians had been built by ancient undersea explorers called the Fomori. Marin always thought the Fomori were a myth. Now she wondered if her father's other stories might be true. Yo, daddy know things that he probably shouldn't. Undying Caves. This game is so nice looking. What is even happening? Reminded her of her father's lullaby. No! About the brave and beautiful Merrows. Okay. 
我这边去。Oh, I reassembled the statue. There we go. Magical statue keys. This is a cool game. It's cute. Yeah, I like it. Okay, what do I need? To... Oh, we need to get another head. Also, uh, okay, where's the head? It's probably over where the enemies are. Be gone, vile spot. I feel like I'm gonna, okay, I'm taking your head with me, dude. Oh shit! It's gonna beat all the weird jellyfish things first. Oh god, there's a thing that is shooting spikes. Thing shooting spikes. What I'm is getting, it? I'm getting out Why of here. Why is it shooting us? Oh, look at us in the corner. We're scared. Yeah, that's. <gasps> I need my. We're so shiny eye. We're like, oh yeah. Oh god. Okay, I need to uh, recover my green stuff. See? Oh. Handy. Sweet. Can okay, I have to find a way to detach the... Really? It responds. Damn it. Come on. Ugh, come on. Oh, okay, here we go. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> Get away from me. Get. Oh, okay. You know what? Scream. I'm leaving. I'm leaving this place. She sketched the terrain on a sheet of photography paper. Her father had taught her that those who make maps are never lost. <laughs> All right. A huge hermit crab watched Merrin from a rocky ledge. On his back, he carried a vast array of odd-looking treasures. The crab seemed to like shiny objects. Maybe he would be willing to make a trade. Okay. So we can do uh, we have concussive claw, which increases the claw's damage. We can increase the range at which we can magnetically collect stuff. Increase the amount of energy as recharged. Repair more of the ship's hull, and increase the rate with which your time automatically recharges. Uh, let's see. Let me move the camera. So we have 50... We have 60 coins and 51 treasure thingies. Uh, oh, it's how much it costs. We can't afford anything right now. Um. Don't worry, Hermit Crab. I'll be back. Oh, shit. Stupid jellyfish. Okay, so I can't... Can't go through here. Throw that at it. Nope. There must be something else we have to do. There's all those little snaky things we keep scaring. I'm glad. Oh, the map has a marker to our next destination. So... Oh, we just keep going this way. Seems pretty straightforward. We need another head. Okay, let's, uh... Oh, spike throwers! <gasps> Up! Uh-oh! Why can they swim through it? That's not fair. Oh, there's the head. Do I... Okay, I can, I can just go around. What what are you? Why? A giant clam. Oh shit. Oh my god, it's like oh. a bee's nest. Oh, the this it can it can get them. See? Oh, that's handy. Well, let's beat them with a head piece. <laughs> oh god, there are kelp monsters. Okay. Oh, that might be a threat. Yes. Don't do that. Go to put the head back. Were notoriously picky eaters. Each one seemed to prefer a different kind of treat. Come 
Come on. Okay. Let's do it. Let me in. Uh oh. Open faster. Open faster. Let me through. A propulsion. A propulsion device that can boost the sub's movement in small bursts. Oh, we can get through the things now. Eager to test out its effects on our lightweight craft. So we can we can fight the uh, we can fight it now, kind of. Okay, so we have to go. There's fancy coins up there. I need to get them, and then we I guess we go down. It's like super glittery coins. Hey. I wonder if the head bashes through things. Maybe. Oh no, give me. Give me that. Oh yeah. Hey. Okay, there's a bunch of. There's another giant cl clam thing. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out. What are we supposed to feed them? Are we supposed to feed them? Yeah, something. Here we go. Oh yeah. Let us get away. F uh, we keep going down. Ooh, there's like a super glowy thing. More coins. Let's see on the right. There's a. Uh, it's like a steampunk uh, dream, I guess. There's a head. Oh, I put the head down there. Uh, throw an object while holding down the boost to perform a super throw. <laughs> that was beautiful. Come on. Stupid jellyfish, get out of the way. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The jellyfish is like, I'm out. <laughs> You're too powerful for me. And we're apparently right behind in her uh, backyard. How did how did they not know there's a there's a golden something or other? Um, the seas around Ireland and Scotland are probably a little rough to go diving. Lantern jellies blocked Merrin's path. Although the creatures could be deadly to the touch, they were very shy and even avoided each other's light. Merrin shuddered, as if recovering from a bad dream. For a moment, oh. she thought she had experienced her own death, but it had merely been the time showing her one of the many possible roads ahead. We're going to meet it here. It's an interesting concept. You never actually die in the game. They just be like, that was a terrible idea, don't do it. Wondering if a Mero girl once lived there, and if her father had sung her lullabies about the world above. What is, is it... this thing that we're carrying? I... Do not beat me. Oh. Those are the deadly ones, aren't they? Yes, but you could probably throw the thing at them. Um... It's gone. Did you use it up on a jellyfish? Well, I didn't think it was going to explode. So that's... that's fun. That's well. Ah, that is a, that is pretty sweet. Oh shit! Okay, we have searchlights. So I think we will wrap it up here. That's pretty. That's cool. I like this. Oh shit! Amidst the scraps of an old femori machine, she attached them to the front of the submarine's hull, hoping they would help guide her on her journey. Oh, it makes the jellyfish go away. Oh, right, because they hide from each other's light. That's handy. Let me go and save, because I don't want to do that again. That is awesome. I am enjoying this. I think we shall have some fun with this. <gasps> Mermaid! Was that a Meru maiden swimming through the ruins? So they have ruins, but they still exist. They're like, we forgot how to build things.
What am I even towing? A bomb. Oh, what's the worst thing that could happen? <laughs> oh shit! There's a cannon! She's like, I'm scared. It's trying to kill me. Meron tried to speak to her, but the Meru raced away. She's like, you've got giant lights on you. Fine, Lantern Jellies let her do whatever she wants. So. Okay, apparently they don't kill us if we are lit up. Anyway, yeah, I think this will be uh, this will be really fun. Mm -hmm. Is do you see us? Is there a save anywhere? Mm, no. Oh, worst case scenario, I just come back and do that again. I was kind of hoping for a quick save. Yeah, okay. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give us a like, a subscribe, and a comment, and thanks for watching. Bye, guys!